when you can turn into a bear by accident. Hey, wait. We're with you. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Hey, is that soundstone on that log? I could get us past it. Alka! There we go. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, pish-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form.
We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. Their presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any more. You <laughs> think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, mm -hmm. broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. Well, I'm not concerned. I'm curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy. <laughs> okay, okay. Point taken. <clears throat> looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Spartalfon, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Great, but humid. Egros. I like it. <laughs> Find the Noki! <laughs> making these things stronger! <laughs> <laughs> This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Otis Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the Light Elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alphon, right? 
Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary Celestial Wolves, supremely entertaining as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right, well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try that first. So besides Hildas Beanie and the elves, <laughs> who else has got a prayers on them? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler, I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Whoa! No one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. This 
wall. When I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Uh. Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. That puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our feet's gone skyward. <laughs> Whoa, 
What is that? A wide one. Nasty beast. Careful, wide. Yup. Chariots attack. Watch your left! I'll target From hell on. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Left side! Incoming! Nicely done! But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement? The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written.
call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Hmm. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda Spini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. <laughs> Liking it less now. wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriyar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. So, we report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masks people. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Plants you want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. 
Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowsinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding Freya in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and... ...here to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Yeah! <laughs> 
Rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Careful, brother. You're covered in black The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. Oh! <laughs> 
Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. Alas, we're on Neath Hog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neath Hope protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Just... make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <clears throat> We're coming for you, Ingvi. Myself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm done. And you must be the little half breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. Mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. <laughs> See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Have some life from me! Not going to lie! I'm 
What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Hey, careful! These are new braces. Hilarious! The scion of the Aesir brought down by an old geezer's cane. Actually hit me. Slow down. I don't remember the last time anyone hit me. Stop. You are mine. Well done. More fun. <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a cop. I can't decide if I'm more surprised or pissed off. Come on, brother! You hit him once! Just gotta find the right opening! You think you can bring down the Asgard? Right, brother! Slow down! to spare me out of pity <laughs> let it go and you may live is this about the little runt oh now i am definitely going to gut him <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this is your final warning i don't think a warning is going to cut it you think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead. Way 
over your head! Enough! Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir! The Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that blue mockerel of yours and beat his face into a blow! <laughs> Only one of us is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you. <laughs> Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Whoa! 
seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that.
Think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He. Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Leader before. Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Wunder. Easy. Heck, you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. Gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka. So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Ah, we can always try finding Helka some other time. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Gjallarhorn is supposed to do. You're blown by a god. Sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Well, it's somewhere like Tyr's Temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Hey, tell her 
let's use the first. Oh! You bad. Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How? In all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happening. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye, and once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. Too soon. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? I did it. And therein lies a tale.